accounts currency custom currency let's say you went to make dollar you put dollar apply let's say five yeah so here you can change the currency so you go here let's say I want dollar format number custom currency if I want dollar put it if I want euros I put it here and apply right so here is the hour wage here's the hours that they worked let's say someone worked 10 hours someone work 25 hours you put it in here yeah so how much you need to pay it's obvious that you need to this multiply by this so what you do is you said s sum value multiply by this simple 50 and you can press this it auto fill it will do it automatically for everyone yeah and then you don't have to do it so technically these people work 10 hours if i change it to um, let's say 100 hours 500 euros i need to pay the person see simple here it's important that you put the date so here if you pay them put the date and make sure that they um how do you say that they confirm the payment so if someone pay uh, if you pay someone make sure to sign something that you can confirm and you put a date here so you create a row and then in the row you put um we need to change the the value of the, the of the row let me see how i can change it we don't want number we want date so you put a date here let's say 11 let's say 11 um, slash 08 says 2002 see it should be a date yeah you put the date here and if you can you can put the time here so the time can be let's say i pay them in august you put it in here yeah let's say you pay this this one in september you put it in here yeah, this is just for you to clear, create the overview. Yeah. What important is what most people don't realize is, this is something that you need to keep in mind, but it can help you a lot. So let me type it in. Max, min, average, total. Okay, the thing is, I don't remember the car. Yeah. Yeah. Let's say if you want to know the, the max of the minimum wage, you know what? Let's put it, in. yeah, but give me a second. So let's say I want to know the max is max and then we go from here to here and then the max is five, five pounds. I change to pounds. If you have everything in dollars, it should be dollar. Yeah. So here you do technically the same. You say is min and then you put here until here also five so if i change this to for example three minimum is three and yeah five is the maximum so if i want to know the average shouldn't be that difficult the average is also the code average so is is gonna have you average and then open the value from here you will see later why this is important huh? and the total is some you go from here to here and done yeah so the total is eight the average is four 
3 plus 5 is 4, um, 8, and then divided by 2 is 8. You can change the currency, whatever you want. Huh? So you see, you can change the currency. So let's say you want to know the same thing about here. You don't have to do everything again. So what you can do is you can just copy it. So if I'm correct. Yeah, what did you do? Twenty-five. See, but the only problem is they see the column as price, so we need to change them as just in numbers. So this column, you change it into numbers. So you change. Um, how do you do that again? Because we don't want this in number. I mean, we don't want this in uh, currency. So we just want it in number. See that? But the thing is, we don't want it with. Uh, um, we don't want the whole number. So we go to number. Custom number format. So we want it like this. See? It changed easy. Yeah. So pay. Oh, we created a loan. This is not a loan, by the way. This is not a loan. Yeah. So we're going to create the same thing here. We're going to copy. The date, we don't have to. For the date, we don't have to do that. Okay. Yeah, so the minimum, the average, and the total correct but the thing is this one we want it in dollars because this is how much you have paid someone so we want this whole thing we want in dollar so you go here numbers us dollar see that simple yeah the thing is let's say you have this formula and you wanted everyone here Put it here. Okay, so recording. No, 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 I don't want to move it. See? So everything now is in dollar. If I file something in, let's say 70, and let's say someone uh, $40. See, see the price in here. So technically, this is an example of when someone works for you on a payroll, not loan. Payroll. Yeah, 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 yeah. Let's call this payroll two. When someone works for you, you can keep track of how many times they work for you if you want to keep it from Excel. The thing is, Google Sheets is for free. So you can just use this. You can start out by pause this video and create it yourself. And then you have your own payroll. It's that simple. And if you want everything to be in dollar or in euros, it's easy. Just go here, select the, the row, go to the number, and then US dollar. Everything will be in US dollar. The same apply here. Yeah? So everything is in US dollar. Technically, here you put the date and then the time. And that's it. So technically, this is your payroll. If, if someone works for you and you need to keep track of the time, you can just put it in here and put exactly how many times they work, uh, forename, first name and last name, and what the wages are, and put it in here. And you're done. That's technically a payroll. And there are a lot of systems out there, but um, keep in mind, you can start for free with Google Sheets. That's technically it. So... Payroll is done.